Hey everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to show you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. Now this week we don't have any further information for Reichbusters, Project Vril, or Darkest Dungeon, the board game, but let's get to the rest of it. For Time of Legends Joan of Arc this week, the Succubus scenario is all about area control and objective prioritization. As we talked about in a previous update alongside the corresponding unit profiles, the Succubus will use her flight trait together with the help of her Rat Swarm units to move around the map quickly blocking off her opponent's path while gathering garment tokens. These garment tokens help the succubus seduce and lure into her lair various units from the opposing side, netting her victory points. If she doesn't reach enough victory points by the end of the game, however, she will lose, so it's a race against time to outwit your opponent and avoid their surveillance. As a last-ditch effort to make more victims, the succubus can attempt to seduce enemy units without the help of the correct garments, but doing so is risky and can fail. As a means to defend their forces, the holy side can close off the entrance to the various crypt and sewer areas, reducing the unholy side's options while attempting to trap them underground. They can be helped in doing so by the beggar, loitering around the town. Every encounter with him will yield beneficial results to the holy side, but also move him to a different area, so you'll have to chase him around if you want the means to use the most powerful intrigue powers and maybe summon some much-needed help from above. With regards to production, we're reaching the very final days of production in our offices, and meeting deadlines while making sure everything is in check is very busy work. Hence, the more time we took to get back in communication with you all. With the sheer quantity of files involved in a game as huge as this one, all hands are on deck to get everything as clean, polished, and ready for factory production as is humanly possible. We would like to show you the Teutonic Knights scenario book in its entirety before the end of production preparation to implement some final feedback from you guys, even though you haven't played those scenarios before. A fresh pair of eyes, or 200, always help. But the process of reviewing every comment, assessing them, and making the necessary changes to the books would greatly hinder our ability to deliver everything in time for you guys. Once things start rolling into the factory production and we have less on our hands to handle, we will get you the usual round of proofreading we have tried to stay consistent with throughout the development of this updated version of the game. For Solomon Kane this week, we have an important shipping announcement. We are moving very slowly into actually shipping the game. It's extremely difficult to actually book containers and ships right now due to COVID. Now, I know we're all sick and tired of hearing that COVID is the reasoning behind these delays, but the fact of the matter is that even still a very limited number of ships leave from China and the demand for space on them is quite increased. So here is what we've managed to do so far. A ship with two containers is on its way to the North American hub. It's scheduled to reach port in Jacksonville on February 5th. Now, this is not the entire North American stock. It's simply all we could send out for now. The Asian stock is being moved by truck, and we have managed to arrange this, and we've been informed that it's going to reach our warehouse in Asia on January 20th. Now, for Europe, Australia, and New Zealand, and the rest of the world, we unfortunately don't have any new information as of the time of this recording but we will update you as soon as we have new information for those regions. For Super Fantasy Brawl this week, just a quick update on the Felder bags. The Felder bags are shipped. We received confirmation from Felder themselves that all bags were shipped on December 29th. Now, backers should not have received any emails about this. However, they should be waiting for delivery. 
and they've been shipped from Germany, so be on the lookout for those. Another short update on Steam Watchers this week. We've wrapped up production on our side and the ball is now in the factory's park. One of the things that we're going to be sending out, of course, is the lore book that was offered to every core pledge, and it's 36 pages long in A5 format. It comprises all of the clan's stories, a little bit about the world timeline, and a lot of art. So start looking forward to that. For Enchanters this week, our North American hub has started shipping. The European hub received the games on December 28th, and they will start shipping soon as well. Asia continues shipping, and Australia New Zealand has finished shipping. So be on the lookout for address verification emails, shipment notifications, and so forth in Europe and North America. In Asia, Australia, and New Zealand, if you haven't received your copy yet or any shipment notifications saying that it's en route, please contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net. And I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what's going on. For Hell the Last Saga this week, this first month of the year will be particularly busy for our developers as we are in the process of making a major update of the rules to include integrating all the remarks left on the beta document, clarifying, modifying, and simplifying some existing rules following playtests, and integrating all the new concepts and mechanisms we have imagined during the development of the scenarios. In terms of clarification and minor modifications, we have made some changes resulting from the multiple playtests performed. For example, a game turn will now have five phases instead of four. We decided to remove the appearance of new threats from the hostiles phase, since in reality this generation of tokens in totem areas could also place quarry, saga tokens, and some others. The hostile phase now only hosts what concerns the movement attack of threats and hostiles. The apparition phase now takes place afterwards. Regarding some new features, most of the new mechanisms were originally a group of scenario-specific rules. But they proved to be so useful and interesting that we decided to reuse them in several scenarios and finally to make them standard rules in the rulebook. For example, we'd like to present two new threat tokens. As a reminder, the threat tokens are classified into three types of threats, green, blue, and red with a number of hostile miniatures to put into play on their back when they are revealed by a search action or triggered by an ambush. These new threat tokens have been created to add twists and turns in scenarios where heroes are going to be moving around a lot more and to add more risk in combat-oriented adventures. The Findings token states, when revealed, this threat is discarded and triggers a paragraph in the same way as a saga token. The paragraphs triggered will also appear on the bookmark of the current song. In short, the findings token is a saga token that can move and follows the behavior of the threat category to which it belongs. The assault token states when revealed, this threat is discarded and immediately triggers a hostile phase. There will be one of each of these tokens for each threat color. All these updates do not affect the demo published on Tabletop Simulator, which, of course, we invite you to try out if you have not yet done so already. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris time with a live Q&A in French. And that live Q&A is also simulcast on, I believe, Facebook and our Twitch channel as well. So you can choose which format you'd rather attend. So tune in if you'd like to see what he might spoil or to just simply ask him some questions and see what happens. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care.